Hello everyone, I'm Michaela Kathleen, and today we have a book haul! Woo! <laughs> so these are books that I got for Christmas, so we're a little bit late here. Um, but I have only started reading one of them so far. So yeah, let's get into it. The first book I got for Christmas, I got from a co-worker. It is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. And since I got this, I also went ahead and got out for myself uh, Crooked Kingdom, the sequel. My coworker and I talk about books all the time. We both really love books. And so this is the one that she's been really wanting me to read for the entire year that we've worked together. So she got me this and I got her the first book in the Thousandth Floor series. So this is near the top of my to be read list now because I want to get it read and tell her what I think. And so if you've read this book, tell me what you think. Next from my parents, I got Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. The cover for this is so pretty. And this is the first book that I would really completely credit booktube to me having it. I put it on my wish list for Christmas because I've seen everyone on booktube talking about it. Next, also for my parents, I got this beautiful, beautiful copy of The Handmaid's Tale. It is a soft leather, oops, still got the receipts in there. Um, it is a soft leather with the beautiful uh, shiny silver pages. Um, so it's kind of meant to look like a Bible, I think. Um, and I'm very excited. I have seen all three seasons of the show, but I have not read the book. And I'm very excited to read the book and to read the sequel. Next, from my boyfriend's parents, I got With Malice by Eileen Cook. I put a couple of Eileen Cook books on my Christmas list a few years ago because I saw her at NerdCon Stories and she seemed like a super nice, super cool person, so I wanted to support her by getting some of her books and now I have finally gotten one. Next, I am kind of cheating here. I did not get these for Christmas. I got my boyfriend a Loot Crate subscription for Christmas and these two books came in the first box, um, and I am also going to read them. What is better than a gift that you can also enjoy yourself and that you can enjoy with the person that you are giving the gift to? <laughs> and so we're both gonna read these and then we can talk about them and it'll be super fun. Um, and the books are The Legion of Reg Regrettable Supervillains and The League of Regrettable Superheroes. So it's all about kind of lesser known comic book heroes and villains that did not get as popular as some of the ones that we know and love. Again, a gift that I got from my boyfriend was the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. I thought we would really enjoy making some recipes together. We both need to get better at cooking. Um, so yeah, I got him this. Uh, we've made run one recipe from it, Paddington Burgers, that Harry and Hagrid eat at Paddington Station on their way back from visiting Diagon Alley in the first book. Um, the burgers turned out they were very tasty. They were a little bit soft though, which was kind of off-putting. And then we used the leftover burger meat, I think in some sort of a pasta, maybe mac and cheese, I don't know. <laughs> um, but we actually liked it better in whatever pasta we put it in. Maybe it was spaghetti. So yeah, our next recipe that we plan on making from here is the big fluffy pancake. I did not think to post our Paddington burgers on Instagram, but I think I will start posting our successes and failures with this book on Instagram, so watch out for those. And I also got this present for my brother, and me and my boyfriend had seen this in stores and talked about it, and so leading up to Christmas I kept saying that I had gotten him and my brother the same thing, and he was like, oh, what could have you gotten both of us? And I was like, oh, and also I hope that you didn't get me this gift, and so I had him very confused and very wondering about what this could be. Next, my boyfriend's parents got my boyfriend this Game of Thrones book that is The Noble Houses of Westeros, um, but I also plan on reading it again. Really stealing all my boyfriend's books here. So this is an exciting one. Um, it's just got lots of, lots of cool stuff in there about Game of Thrones. All right, back to a book that is actually mine. <laughs> my parents got me Amazing, Fantastic, Incredible by Stan Lee. Um, it is his biography. This has been on my Christmas wish list for a few years, um, but it was quite a surprise. I did not know that it is his biography in comic book form, so that's really cool. 
And finally, my boyfriend got me Hamilton The Revolution, which is all about the making of the Hamilton protection on Broadway. This is the one that I have started reading. I'm on page 225 out of 287 and it has been so good so far. I love Hamilton so much. It is such a good story. I listen to the soundtrack all the time. I lament that I will probably never see the Broadway musical, but I'm really hopeful that there will be a movie. I think that would be super awesome. And this has been a really fun companion to the soundtrack. Um, it's got a lot of information that I didn't know. It's got deleted songs, which some of them are really good. Some of them, I wish I could actually listen to them since they're not on the soundtrack. And I wish they hadn't gotten cut from the show. And this also includes the the part of the show that didn't, that is in the show, but is not in the soundtrack, which I kind of knew what that was, which it's a bit of a spoiler, so I won't say what it is, but it's a scene that Lynn cut because it's mostly speaking, not singing and he wanted to leave a surprise for people who go see the show or read this book. So I was surprised even though I kind of knew what happens in that scene. And so yeah, these are all the books that I got for Christmas. I'm very excited to read them all. I hope that you all will share with me what you got for Christmas. I know it's already been a month since Christmas, so if you've started reading any of the books that you got for Christmas, tell me what you think of them down below because the only thing better than a book for Christmas is a good book recommendation. Thanks, see you guys in the next video.